Hi, my name is Kelly and welcome to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva and soon to be everything else print-on-demand. If that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and stick around. Okay. Bye. <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to be going over how to make this design right here. It says Tiki Time and what this is is a series of frames that all have one picture that goes continuously throughout them. I've gone ahead and dimmed the background picture. Uh, I've decreased the saturation so that the words Tiki Time pop up and we've put a little outline around the side of it. Now I'm showing you this on a t-shirt but this would also work very well for other print-on-demand products such as mugs, stickers, water bottles, um, cards, posters, anything like that. This would look really good on. So you can use this technique on a variety of different products. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels because that is the standard t-shirt uh, size for Merch by Amazon. And as always, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a black backdrop. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be going over how you can use frames um, to create one image that looks like it's going across frames. I'm going to be using some text over a photo backdrop and then decreasing the saturation in the backdrop to make it look like the words are popping off of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and start by picking the photo that I want and I've already taken a look here. I'm going to be going with a panoramic beach. I've chosen this one right here. You can choose anything you like, but panoramic really helps because I'm going to be using words going straight across it. So I want it to, you know, have this basic long horizontal orientation. And to make it easy to size, I'm going to go ahead and size it up so it is all the way straight across the page so that it's easy to duplicate the size going forward. Once I have the photo selected that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and start selecting uh, frames for the words. So for this design, I've gone ahead and selected Tiki Time, and I did go ahead and trademark check that. So it is not trademarked and it is free to use, Tiki Time. So I'm gonna go up to my elements and I am going to go to my frames. Here we go, and we are gonna start by writing out tiki time with our frames. So I'm gonna scroll down till I get to my letters. Here we go, I'm gonna need an I, I'm gonna need an E, I'm gonna need a K, I'm gonna need an M, I'm gonna need a T, okay? And I can close this. And now we're gonna go ahead and shrink these way down. So I'm gonna be starting with a T right here. Whoop. M is gonna go over here. K is gonna go right here. Time and E is gonna go there. There's my I. There we go. And now I know I'm gonna need two more I's. I can hit Control D twice and just duplicate that. So there is. And one more T, Control D. And there it says Tiki Time. Now I know right now it's a little bit hard to see because it sort of blends in with the background. What I could do if I wanted to is go ahead and, and click this background image. Come up here to the right, it says transparency. We can be using this later, but I can bring that transparency way down if I want to. Just like that, now our word stands out a little bit more. So now I want to line these up so that they're all evenly sized and evenly spaced. So I'm probably gonna need to make them a little bit smaller for the most part. So I'm gonna leave this T right where it is. Maybe gonna shrink it down a little bit and we'll go with this size. So now I'm gonna line the I up with the top of the T and the bottom and we'll just keep going until everything is evenly sized. There we go, bring that down, continue on. All right, so that looks pretty evenly spaced. So now that I've got the words where I want them, 
I'm going to be filling in each one of these frames with the same picture back here. So I'm just going to go up to elements when I get back, recently used, and there is the photo that I just used. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it right inside the T. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to double click and I'm going to extend this photo out so that it is the same size as the one in the backdrop. And so now the T blends in with the image in the back. And we're just going to repeat this process for every single letter. So again, just go nice and fast, line it up, line it up, and that should be good. I'm going to do it again next. Bigger. So now you can see how we have Tiki Time looking like it's sort of popping out of this backdrop. Now again, I can go over here, I can make the backdrop even more transparent if I want to make it pop a little bit more. Now that's just uh, one thing I can do to make Tiki Time sort of pop out. What I actually want to do is go ahead and put a little frame around Tiki Time. Now to do that, I have to save this as one image. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the background picture for now no problem and i'm going to save this tiki time as one image so i'm going to go tiki time up here oops and tiki time and i'm going to go ahead and download it as a transparent background hit download and just give it a second and then you'll see what we're going to do here perfect so there it is it is downloaded and i can it right up here it's gonna take a second to download and so we're just gonna wait for this to download and once it does I'm gonna show you how we can put a little frame and a shadow around it to really make it pop off the backdrop a little bit more so we give it a second while this is loading if you have any uh, questions go ahead and drop them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to them as quickly as I can okay now that it is up I'm going to go to edit image and here's where I can start putting shadows around it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the glow because I want to put an outline all the way around it. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select white. I don't want any blur for this one and I don't want it to be transparent. I'm going to keep it as a relatively thin outline, something like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply. I'm going to give it a second to finalize. And there it is. Tiki time. So now it is finalized and it is outlined. Okay. And you should be able to resize it from here. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull the original image back in because I'm going to put a shadow on this and I want you to be able to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to come back up to elements and I'm just going to bring back in my original picture and I'm going to send it to back. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit transparent so that the words will pop. And so you can see I can resize it so that it was the original size. I can take my tiki time. I'm going to have to resize it in a minute anyways to make sure it all lines up good. But for now, it's going to be somewhere around there. Now I'm going to go ahead back up to edit image. I'm going to throw another shadow on it. So I'm going to do glow again. This time I'm going to use black. And this time I'm going to want a blur. So I'm going to go with a real big blur. And I'm going to go with a real big size. So you can see as I do this, the letters look like they're sort of popping right off. I'm getting a shadow behind it. With a big blur. I want a big blur. 
And so we're gonna do something like that. And I think that looks really good how it is. So I'm just gonna hit apply and I'm gonna give it a second to finalize. There we go, perfect. So now you can see the letters are really looking like they're popping off the page a little bit more. Um, perfect. Now that I have this, I can go ahead and get rid of the original letters. And I can make little micro adjustments too to make sure this is where I want it. So it looks like I might want to bring it up just a little bit. I want it to be as lined up with the background picture as I can get it so that it looks like it's all one image. And now with the background picture, again, I can make it more or less transparent. I can also go up here to edit image and I can change the saturation as well. So if I wanted it to maybe be a little less saturated, so that it looks like it's almost going from a black and white to a color. That's a pretty cool effect right there. So I kind of like that. I can also play with the darkness and the lightness up here too. So if I wanted it to look really dark versus if I wanted it to look really light, you know, I can play with that. So, you know, it's worth playing around to sort of see how you like everything. Once you get it the way you want though, and I do think that, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up towards the top of the page here. So something like this is where I want it. And I'm gonna bring the words right back up again, try to line them up as evenly as I can so that it looks like one continuous image. And so far, so good. Maybe over just a smidge here. looking at the coconut on the ground to try to bring it over. And there it is, I like that. Okay, looks good. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of a frame around the image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit L on my keyboard, it's gonna create a line. Now I can come up here where it says line weight and I can make this line as thick or as thin as I want. So I can make a pretty thick border or thin border. I can play with it however I want. And then I can change the length of the line by just pulling it out. So for this one, I want it to go all the way across the page and you'll see in a second. I'll bring it all the way across the page and then I'm gonna bring it up right here so that I can put a line at the top and bottom of this. Now I can keep the line white, that looks pretty cool. If I want the line to have a little bit more pop, maybe I wanna throw some color in it, I can come up, oops, select the line, come up to colors here. I can select any of the photo colors that have been brought in. If I want maybe a different shade, I can come up here. There's a little eyedropper here. This is pretty nifty. I can click on that. And then if I bring it over, I can select any color from the photo that I like. So I think that looks pretty cool right there. Oops, bring this up just a smidge. And once you get the line color that you want, I can just go ahead and hit Control D. It's gonna duplicate my line and I'll just bring it up to the top. And now I've got my frame on my design. So there you go, it says Tiki Time. Now if I wanted to, I could even layer the lines. So again, I could hit line one more time. This time I could go ahead and go with a white line. I can keep it pretty thin, so not quite as thick as the one before. Maybe something like that, it's real thin. Pull this one out, you'll see what I'm gonna do here. I've got my line, I'm gonna bring it right up just above that one. And there you go, it's gonna give it just a little bit of a extra border. So again, I can hit that line, I can hit Control D, it's gonna make a second one. I could bring the second one up to the top here. It's gonna overlap that just a little bit and boom. There you go. So that is how you would make a, you know, really cool photo design where it looks like the words are popping off the background and it's all one continuous image. Again, you can use this on a shirt, but you can also use it on a variety of other pro uh, products for print on demand. So once you have it the way you like it and it's time to save, and, once, and you have it titled the way you want, we can go ahead and just download it as we normally would, download with the transparent backgrounds. And that is it. That is all set. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, 
Be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.